like Coach Stockstill was kind of mentioning, you guys have bring back some starters along that offensive line, but depth might be a question. What do you feel like you're looking like on the offensive line right now? Um, it's definitely not a question like it was last year. Um, last year it was a question going in and a bigger question, you know, when we start playing. Uh, but they got better at the end um, and more, more confident at the end and improved. And then this spring they had a really good spring. Um, you know, Carlos and, and Chandler – played like uh, they played like pros in the spring and they had the talent to be pros and they played like it, and they hadn't played like it so um, it, we got better and our depth is better um, and um, so I feel good about it. Coach Franklin last year you guys were kind of decimated by injuries at running back and had to move to Varys midway through right. the running back. How nice is it to have him as a full off season, just working exclusively at that position instead of having to take reps at linebacker and right. at the end of the period. <clears throat> um, it's, it's amazing. I mean, a kid's special. Um, he's 240 pounds. Uh, he can run. He understands the position. I don't know if anybody's worked any harder in the country in the off season to improve at their craft. Um, and he's a special football player that has an opportunity to do really special things. And with that being said, he's got good competition. So we we were bad last year at that position until we moved him <coughs> over. And, you know, thank God Scott, you know, let us have him. I think after he saw him, you know, run four touchdowns and run over some people and we could eat the clock a little bit better. But, um, um, but the position went from one of weakness to one of strength. And then when, you know, Terrell West got back at the end of the season and you had both those guys almost healthy. Uh, and then there's the other guys that have been competitive. So there's – it's going to be fun to watch. It's good competition. Follow-up to that question. How was that conversation like with Coach Haver and Coach Stock? Just trying to – Oh, it's great. You know, Scott and I, it's, been, it's always fun in coaching staff when you work – is that you you get along and that you have um, the same goals and I, you know I've worked with some phenomenal defensive coordinators you know last time I was here Manny uh, was here and I love Manny and amazing and I worked with uh, Will Muschamp two, two names that are probably two of the best this guy's the, he, he's the best. he's phenomenal and he's a good human being and a good man um, and you know we work together well um, and so he just wants to win. You know, when he saw that Tavares could help us win, that was it. And and Tavares probably could be a great, you know, linebacker for them. But, you know, the kid's got some special skill sets that changes our offense. And uh, so, you know, when we went to Scott and, and asked him, he's like, hey, help us win, let's do it. Brent coming back uh, as a senior with his experience in this offense. So uh, what are you seeing is being possible for him this season uh, to build on, you know, the resume he's already put together? Yeah, well, the, the th to have a quarterback for three years is is incredible for me. Sometimes I don't stay three years. Um, and um, I've only had one, and that was Jared Goff uh, at Cal. Uh, and Brent's spring that he just had was better than any quarterback that I've ever coached. Um, he understands the offense. He's a good leader. He's a good football player. I think a lot of times people, you know, will say, you know, he's a coach's son and, you know, he loves the game and all that. He's a good football player. He likes playing football. And um, uh, it's, it's fun to have somebody like him that can do so much physically but mentally. Um, he does a lot of, I think somebody addressed him as coach a while ago coming in and it's a good thing because that's what he is. And all good quarterbacks I've had are coaches. You know, they all they all coach. They coach everybody. And uh, I tell them the number one thing to be a great quarterback that you have to do, and I believe this, you have to overcome my coaching. Uh, not that I'm not good. I'm good at what I do. But I don't care who you are. Somewhere along the way, when you play that position, you just got to do stuff that you've never been told. You don't know how to do it. You've never been coached to do it. You just do it. And that's what he does. He does a really good job of overcoming my coaching. Scott, out of the gate, you, you got Vanderbilt senior quarterback in Shermer. You got to go to Georgia. You challenging your secondary in camp, is that be a big thing for you? Yeah, for the whole defense. Um, you know, uh, you know, they returned a very good quarterback in Shermer. He got stronger as, this, as the season progressed. And uh, you got some good tight ends. Most are offensive line back. So it'll be a great challenge for us. Um, but we've had an opportunity to look back after a year and, and kind of, you know, decipher where we are, where we need to be. And, 
and that's a, from a, a you know a scheme standpoint and a personnel standpoint and uh, now we're just looking forward to teeing it up this summer and you know seeing the competition begin at the different positions um, the secondary you know losing two corners that played a lot of football for us uh, having to replace those with a slew of kids will be will be a good challenge for us but I thought I thought the kids in the program at the corner did a good job uh, played Randolph at corner a little bit more than nickel um, between OJ uh, Johnson Chris Stamps Cordell Hudson uh, uh, Justin Brown we got we got great competition and I think the skill sets are there now it's football know-how consistency and you know just being consistent doing their job so be a good challenge for us coach uh, you were just talking about that that uh, that battle going on for those <clears throat> cornerback positions um just from a coaching standpoint, how excited are you to kind of just watch those guys battle it out every day and fight for that spot? It's always fun to, to see the competitions emerge, you know, and it started, you know, before the season ended last year with the way some of those kids were practicing in bowl practice. Then you go into spring ball and you got some guys that have a little bit more know-how because they've been in the system and then you have some new faces out there. Uh, whether it be transferring in or, or getting an opportunity to come from the scout field and play. So it's always fun to see the competition with the kids and, and let them get after it. Uh, you know, this day and age, it's good, to, it's good to have four or five corners that you feel can play, and the key there is consistency. And uh, I think we're working towards that goal. Coach Schaefer, last year obviously is your first year here. How's this off season kind of been different other than just, you know, moving here and actually knowing the – community and stuff like that sure no it's been great um football aspect the second year all my places i've been has always been when i've looked back my favorite years because you know year one the language barrier no matter how how hard you try and how diligent you are to try to teach in a in an effective way um those kids will still revert back to uh, what they called it in the past and even some of the coaches to be honest with you which is normal so the second year is always great. You know, we've taken a lot of time in teaching the kids through, you know, a lot of testing, both on paper and on video, uh, to really speak the right language. And uh, the second year, that's one thing. And then, and then the fact that we have some kids that have played in the system coming back. You know, our linebackers, Darius has grown up a lot as a football player, and, and he's, he's really learned how to play the game within the framework of the scheme. Khalil and D DQ Thomas, two outside linebackers that – I think can be pretty, you know, pretty good in our scheme. In the middle, we lost DJ Sanders, who was a, a young man that played a lot of football here, um, and we had to find some newbies. So we moved Cody Smith from safety to, to middle linebacker. He put on twenty odd some pounds, and and he's done a nice job. Uh, Avery Jones, a young man that Tony actually found out in California, is a guy that we, you know, we need him, him to be in the two deep fighting. Uh, along with like Kane and so it'll be interesting but you know year one to year two is just that familiar side of coaching football where you walk in the room and you know they're calling things the same way you've you've taught them as as you know you go through the first season there's probably six seven instances even in the course of a game where kids like coach we got to do this with that and they said they said it wrong you know and it's like oh boy so the communication and the language bear is probably the biggest thing and then uh you know, as far as the community goes, you had mentioned, but you know, it's just a great place to live. My wife loves it here, and uh, we got just a bunch of good old ball coaches on this staff that uh, really don't have any egos or agendas other than win football games, and uh, it's it's refreshing to come in and just get at it. Coach, have you, talk, you touched a little bit on Cody Smith. Uh, what well, when you say mentioned put him 25, 30 pounds in the last year or so? We played safety in high school. You guys had that conversation of moving to linebacker. You probably hadn't played linebacker since Little League, uh, Stock told me. But how have you kind of seen his development from last year? Took that red shirt in spring. And then how important is this fall camp going to be for him to try to secure that Michael linebacker spot? Yeah, he's one of those guys that just works extremely hard. <clears throat> so after Tuesdays and Wednesdays practices during the season, he was a scout team player. He'd come up with Sariki Diabate, our, our linebackers coach, and he'd spend an hour or two uh, learning all the things because he was at safety. And then I told him, "We're gonna we're gonna work you to Mike linebacker." And he looked at me cross-eyed a little bit at first. I said, "That's what you're doing in high school. You were just doing it eight yards deep because they they'd line them up and just run them in the alleys." 
So his work ethic and his diligence and want to is, is the start point. Um, but he's got competition with those other guys, you know. Uh, but, you know, I think more than anything with Cody is uh, when you know a guy is, is bright like he is and physical like he is, you can develop him, especially in our scheme. You know, we're going to ask him to make plays from tackle to tackle as a starting point. And as he gets better, smarter, uh, you know, start making him from sideline to sideline. But he's done a good job. Coach Franklin, um, at the backup QB spot right now, what are you guys looking like? Uh, obviously, Chase ended the season there and was there through the spring. Is he still there? And what do you get from those freshmen? Yeah, we don't have a backup right now. We have five. Um, and I told them that today. I said, none of you are. There, there is no two. Uh, and, and so they'll be competing every day and every single thing that they do. The great thing is, is that um, – I'm really excited about, you know, the guys that went through the spring, but the new guys that are here on campus are all good football players. So, um, you know, John was a good player and did a really good job, I'm hated for his career at the end. We're glad that he's still with us and coaching, helping us. And um, But uh, these kids can play. Um, and if they have to play, they'll be ready to play. I think everybody will be excited when they see them play. They're all good players. I'll be excited to see which one of them ends up being too. Coach Schaefer, how's uh, Javante doing? Um, how limited is he going to be after coming off those uh, shoulder surgeries? He's doing well. He's in, you know, he's been doing everything in the weight room. There are some limitations. Um, we're going to be smart with him as we get into the season, and and uh, you know, take it day by day and make make good decisions that are in the best interest to him and the team at the same time. But he's back. He's in the weight room. His numbers are good. Um, you know, and, and uh, he's just a joy to coach. But we'll take it day by day with Javante and see where he is. Coach, you guys made some big improvements on that defensive side last year, but you didn't force many turnovers. How do you – what do you do during fall camp to try and make that better? Well, we try to <clears> – <throat> to. Well, we had 11 drops last year. We'll start off with that. So if we can turn half of those into interceptions, that would be good. Now, those were drops that we actually had two hands in on the play. Um, so a lot of ball drills. To be honest with you, we do the same thing we've done for years. You know, uh, places that we led the country in interceptions a couple times, and last year not having enough, uh, we did the same stuff. So try to train their eyes in such a way that they can get to the ball quicker, and and then finish it with great technique. And you know, finish, you know, getting the football more physicality in the in the run game to to cause more fumbles as well. You know, if you were to say what's the most, you know, what's the biggest area that you want to improve upon, it's that getting the ball back to Tony and the boys and letting them do their thing. Uh, we didn't, we didn't do a good job with that. And uh, I think when you look at the turnover ratio, it's an area that we want to really improve upon, and and uh, we're focused in on doing it. Coach Franklin, Brent's gone through some freakish injuries the last few years, and he played hurt a lot in high school. Just right. how tough is he? He's tough. Um, you know, there's. Um, I've been fortunate that I've coached a lot of tough guys. Uh, you play that position and you're good, you're tough. Uh, and, and so uh, he's up there with all of, all the guys that I've coached. He's a good, tough kid. Uh, he's not going to get hurt this year, so you all can just – I already know that. I've seen the future and uh, he's in good shape and he's going to play just like he always does and be a tough, hard-nosed, physical football player. And uh, it's going to be a magical year for him. And uh, so you all can rest assured he's not going to get hurt.